Hello. What's up, True Feelings family? How you guys doing today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and I hope you stay. And if you do, welcome to the now, family. Now, you guys, I was shocked when I found out she was at Aaron's house. I thought Aaron was at her damn house, because that damn apartment don't look like nothing he would have. He don't even look like he would have matching damn plates, and you're looking at the kitchen, and it's all nicely neat with fucking matching plates. He don't look like he have matching cups like he drink out of jelly jars. And then they go to the room when he's doing the confessional, and he's got a vase with the sticks and the table with a basket. He just don't seem to me like... Like he going to Marshalls and Ross and decorating his place like that. It just don't. They needed some place to film and we TV didn't want to go to his tweaker written house because I bet you that's exactly what it looked like. They wrong for the shit that they doing. She's wrong because she's the one who's got control over who comes in and out of her damn life. Why did you tell Chaz you were here? He would have gotten pissed off. Now is it me? I think we all can see Branwen, Branwen is going to everybody trying to get someone to tell her to stay and not go to Kentucky. Kentucky. She's conflicted. And then you got Yuck Mouth over here professing his love, saying to her, it's hard for me to see you with another man. And, you know, you should stay here. You know, why you gonna leave and leave your daughter? Her daughter is like 20 years old, people. Okay? Her daughter is 20 years old. Her daughter don't need her like that. It's best for her ass to have gone away from Kentucky, because right now she's sitting locked up, and she still ain't with her damn daughter. Period. <laughs> so then her daughter calls in the midst of them having this conversation and she lets her daughter know that she's sitting there with Aaron. Now here's the thing that gets me. If everybody has Branwen's best interest at heart, why? I would think her daughter would say, why are you sitting there with Yuck Mouth and that's the same person who got you locked up before. I don't understand why you with Yuck Mouth. You need to take your ass to Kentucky. But what her daughter, now she wanted her daughter to make one of the, you know, tell her to stay here and shit. But that ain't what her daughter said. Her daughter know what's best for her mama. But apparently as we know, she didn't listen to that shit. Her daughter is a selfless person. Her daughter don't need her. Her daughter is 20. You can't go back and fix what you fucked up over years. You can't. The best thing you can do for yourself is to stay away from people, places, and things. She, Branwen said it out of her own damn She's just trying to get somebody to change her mind. But at the end of the day, if you were in love with Chaz, she wouldn't need nobody to change her mind. She wouldn't need nobody's validation whether she should stay or go. As all my friends' opinions seem to vary from mine. If you love someone, you just gonna go. She married him for all the wrong reasons. She married him on the dream of having a house and having a better life. But she ain't in love with Chaz. And you know what? I can't blame her. Chaz is annoying as fuck. Yeah, I'll fix that for your teeth. He's annoying as hell. He is. in this little head thing he do, in this little voice, like, he's annoying. I can see why she would have a panic attack just at the thought of wanting to have sex with him. Because the more I watch him, you guys, the more he annoys me. So at this point, I, I damn near can't even blame her. He's still kind of a stranger. So now they having it's Bramwin and uh, Chaz. They done got together over the computer and shit and celebrating their thirtieth, uh, they thirty days of being married and having no nooky nooky. And you can tell with damn Bramwin just talking to Chaz over the phone, she's already annoyed with it. Especially when he starts talking about having that personal time or you know time together, cause she know what he talking about. He talk about when I come up there, we are gonna have some personal time and we need to get some sex on you, my wife. So that's what he's expecting, and she know that's what it means and she ain't feeling that shit at all she's not she's cringing inside i can see it on her damn grandma said and i'm skipping back she said something she said that uh she thinks somebody been trying to get her her phone and that somebody would be chas i do get like paranoid that you can track my phone I it's like but you should be being tracked i would track you and it would seem like 
Chaz would know that she's talking to Aaron because he pays her phone bill. So he should see, like, I would be tracking this motherfucker. I'm sorry. I can't trust you off like that. I would be tracking the shit out of her ass. I really would. Just to make sure, like, she in it for real and wouldn't feel bad about so it. After all the loose toast and champagne and I love you and want to spend time with you type of shit then he asks her and you know it spoiled the mood in her you know how she felt about that but she couldn't talk shit cause she sat there and lied to him when he asked her if she's talked to Aaron no and she lied right there in his face y'all right there in his face it's like yeah not only did she talk to Aaron she been at Aaron's house it's been a little bit more than that Chaz it's just been a little bit more you and your friends until y'all should have just rolled up and gave her a surprise ass visit what I think is Aaron gonna rat her ass out cause he don't want her to go to mess up their relationship that'd be a good little thing to throw in there too but she ain't nothing but lying motherfucker that's what she is alright I love you um, like I said, she deserves to be where she's at. She didn't take that chance to get her life together. Like I can understand not being with somebody that you hardly know. I get that. Then you shouldn't have never married this ass and went to a halfway house and did some other shit. Like I tell people on the show, when you get out of prison, use the system to get out the system. Okay? You can do that. I watch my son do it. Use the system to get out the damn system. And she used the system and got right back in that motherfucker. Game on play. All right. I could tell you this right now. I know the friends was telling her to go to a strip club and do a little strip tease for for uh, Chaz. And I'm gonna tell you, if that happens and we see her, she's the one doing that strip tease for for him. She high. Because somebody said it in the comments and I thought it too. She looked high in her confessionals with the producers. That's why she wear them big back wing eyelashes. Because you could barely see your fucking eyes. I almost bought me some just, just to prove it. You, you know, They so heavy on eyes you can't see. So if, I'm pretty sure she's done had sex with Yuck Mouth. Which I don't see how anybody could sleep with him or get close to his lips. His mouth is disturbing. I'm like keep your ass from below my belly button, bitch. <laughs> That's when I get to use this word. Don't, don't even go down there. Don't even think about it. But I know they done had sex. Um, why her ass is over there? She ain't got no business to have her ass over there. She got girlfriends she can hang with. Why is she with the person who she was talking shit about who got her busted and had her doing time? That shit was a line that don't make sense. Can't nobody make you do time but yourself or make a badass decision. I'm, I'm selfish. It's like, I don't want to see you go. Now, as soon as Chaz get his ass back, I guarantee you, you know what Chaz going to do. Chaz going to get a nice hotel room. He going to try them flowers on the bed again. He going to get him some candles and shit. He going to have a little outfit. And she going to get there and have another damn panic attack because she ain't going to want him touching her ass. I want to get a little bit of snuggle time again. Yeah. And if she do, she was high. Because we already know she locked up because she was getting high. You know, she want to get high to lose that damn weight. I've been there before. Like I said, and some people heard this story before. I did like eight months in jail. Got up, I was swole because they had me on psych meds. Seroquel, that shit blew me up. By the time I got out of jail, I was at least one. I was, I was fluffy, fluffy. Man, I did meth for about three weeks and was back at 120 pounds. But I was also in my 20s and my metabolism was different. I could probably do meth now to probably look like it got damn fucking donk ding dongs laced in. It probably won't lose a damn thing. Anyway, she getting, yeah, I don't know why I went with that. I just went somewhere else. Oh yeah, we were talking about her fucking wanting to lose weight and shit. Because you know people be feeling insecure about their weight. We know how insecure she feels. She won't feel pretty and shit. And if she was back on them little low websites doing little nasty shit, we know she was getting high. It changes your mindset to do dumb shit like that where you feel 
you can feel a little bit more free. Now, I don't know if she do meth, heroin, I don't know what she do, but I know she getting high off of something, and she been high in them damn confessionals. Anyway, that's it, that's all. I'm telling you, love after lockup, they better step this shit up. But I got a feeling this Friday, they gonna bring back Silent Ray and Britney. Everybody's giving us fake storylines, you guys. And it's so sad that the most interesting couple on this season for me right now is Simple Sean. That's some sad shit that Simple Sean and Sarah are the most entertaining couple on this damn show right now. Anyway, y'all, I'll be back with something else. If I don't see y'all tomorrow, because I gotta go back to work, um, I will see you guys Saturday. Don't be an asshole, people. Bye. Gotta come out and see my baby. Yeah.